So at 7.30, let's call the meeting to order. So we're on schedule with HCAM. <coughs> and uh, we have a document to sign, Don. Yep, you guys um, signed a signature page for the order of conditions at the last meeting, so that got issued. And we got a request for a signature page to record a certificate of compliance. The original has been lost. Okay. That's for Joyce. Correct. 15 Holt Street, file number 188-1004. Okay, no new applications filed within the past three weeks? No, just a few exemption requests that we've got on the agenda. Nothing new yet. Okay. And the draft minutes for review from March 26th. Did everyone get a chance to look at those? Comments, questions? Okay. If I can get a motion to approve the minutes for March 26th, please. Salute. And second. a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. <coughs> All right, Joyce, 15 Holt Street. This is a discussion regarding replacing an existing detached garage. Yes. Hey, Mr. Joyce? I am. Good evening. to bring them up That's existing, so you've got the existing garage here, the existing detached, and the second detached. All he's proposing is to flush. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think disturbed grass area, <clears throat> correct? Looks yes. Like it. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, nothing. Moving it further charging. away from the resource area. Exactly. Okay. And I'd even, you know, to the extent of this, even this tree line here, throw up a silt fence right along that, just to. Yep. You know, just to be. Are you doing, you're not doing any excavation, you're just tearing it down and it's on new grade? No, a new foundation has to go in. This is, doesn't have a foundation currently, so I have to do the foundation. Okay, yeah, so it makes sense to put the sill fence in then. Yep. Okay, questions or comments from the commission? 
It looks pretty straightforward. Matt, any issues? No, I think as long as you got erosion control, it's pretty good. Okay. So I would just ask that, you know, once you install the erosion controls, just let the office know so that they have a chance to go out and just take a look at it before you actually do the foundation work. And I think we should be all set. I could just write a letter and, you know, use the standard conditions for, you know, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sweet. Joyce. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Life of Road was in the audience, Tom? Uh, yeah, on Life Road? Yep. Yeah. Come yes. on up. I'm not even going to attempt to uh, try to pronounce Sorry, your last Parker. name if you can just mention it for us. Sebastian. This is Sebastian. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. So, what are you proposing? Oh, I'll bring it up. Uh, I'll bring up the electronics. Proposing to put a metal chain link fence through the backyard. Oh, okay, this was what we talked about at the last. Yep. Meeting. So yeah. he was able to um, um, st uh, put up some uh, ribbons. I was able to go out and take a peek at it. So and let me just grab the sketch plan too that he provided. Sort of blow that up. And this was for the dog run. Yeah. Yes. Yep. The last meeting, the, the the commission was wondering if the wetland line might have changed. Mm -hmm. um, so what I did was um, I went out in the field and basically he had set up um, four ribbons. So basically, kind of like one, two, three, and to the edge of the house. So basically, when I went out, this would have been the, the first. Uh, so looking at, um, you can see the. Uh, ribbons were, were tied up here and I just basically just ran a tape uh, measure out and basically what I think I'm hitting here is basically uh, the grade line probably through here and the first one I had was uh, my notes photos you can see sort of a break and slope where the, where the um, uh, tape is going down. Mm -hmm. You can sort of see it here too, where I'm, where I'm running, there's the, the ribbons. And you just sort of see there's a slight um, drop right in here, from here to here. So the skunk cabbage? Yeah, yeah, it was running right next to the skunk cabbage, mm -hmm. basically. And then, uh, same kind of thing, I was a little tough to see, but you got a drop right through here, <coughs> and there's another skunk cabbage right there. So when you're looking at the, uh, the fence, you're looking at right about here, you're looking at a 20 foot run to the wetland. Here, probably about 18. The tightest one was in the middle. It was like a 10 foot stretch, and then a 12 foot stretch. <coughs> My estimation was you know, just running through the, uh, the buffer run, and not, not in the wetland. Not in the yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so that's Can get through there. That's right, yeah. The dogs will never get through there. Yeah. <laughs> but the dogs I have now are pretty chill, so maybe, you know, like, you get a puppy, you gotta watch them. That was just an example photo he sent. That's sort of what he's thinking of. Yeah, okay. But again, it'll be off the ground, though, so it's not. Can do it on herself? No. I have to clear. I have to clear all the, like the trees. You know, like the sticks on the ground. I have to move those on the side. But that's going to be a lot of work. Just for the fence installation. You're not yeah. clearing that entire area. No, no, right? just the path. Just yeah. they need. They said they need 18 inches yeah. just to get the fence through that. Yeah. Okay. And and Don, the picture is where the skunk cabbage was. The skunk cabbage was. No, but on the map. Yep. I'm I'm guessing. Obviously, it's either one of these grade lines. Yeah. So I was just assuming 
it was back through here. Okay. So basically, as I ran the tape, then I saw a significant change in grade, and that's where I was depicting where the, where the wetlands were. Right. Basically, I was getting skunk cabbage down low. I wasn't getting it up high. You weren't getting it up close to Yeah, the and I was, getting, I was getting a lot of uh, pines through the area and ground pines, so I was seeing a significant change in topography. Yeah. I think we would just ask that since it is buffer zone that you're not clearing that area out at all. No. You know, putting yeah. a fence in but leaving it in its existing condition for the most part. Yep. And you know, understand the dogs are going to run around and you know, trample some of the stuff back there. But we just don't want you to go in and clear it. Right? Yeah. And put a dog house in there and that type of thing. No, so no, yeah. It's just a run area basically. Yeah, it's just going to be trees and leaves. And from the old order of conditions, it was supposed to be some sort of PIB marking. So he's going to reestablish something along the edge of the landscape. So right. all this area, you know, will remain. And then obviously the landscaped area will, you know, be actively landscaped. Yeah. Okay. Ted, you good? We'll be back there to install it. Do you know? I don't. I mean, they only need 18 inches. So Sure. Yeah, I think I'm okay. okay. Thank you guys. All right, Mr. S. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Mr. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Frederico, 39 Saddle Hill Road. This is another exemption request. Yeah, I'll bring that up for you. You've got a house that was built in like 1955. You got an existing gravel driveway. And you grab the GIS. So you've got a gravel driveway that goes all the way out to Saddle Hill Road. And uh, it's got a few trees. I've got some pictures. He's got some trees. Uh, what he wants to do is he wants to clean it. He's got a certain amount of um, excavation to get, you know, get the organic be able to get in the, you know, the base area that he wants. And, uh, so the uh, consultants he had, the, uh, he had a tree guy and the, uh, the paver came up and they picked out uh, these uh, these trees. I think it's a little tight, but it's more spread out. I've got some photos. Uh, he's not asking to take out all the trees, or just the specific ones. And uh, the ones up here, there were a few dead, but most of them were, were alive. There was a, Structure on some tree that I saw when I was up there, and there were some down trees in the uh, in the wetlands that he was concerned about. He, he was just sort of afraid. If he went and left some of the ones that were questionable, and if he puts the driveway in and they fall over, it's going to rip up the driveway. So, oh, uh, we grab the other. It was just a look at the driveway. There's a close up on some of the trees. So basically, when I'm, I started taking pictures up here, and I think I went down and then came came back. Okay. So basically, um, well, some of these were already were already down, and, and uh, uh, I was able to give them some verbal on some of them, but uh, it was the live ones that um, that uh, we had concerns about. So, so they were all fairly small size. Yeah, this, this one already fell. <laughs> yeah. So we're just looking to get that cleared up. But no, as you get closer to the driveway, there was just some small ones. These ones in here were a lot of um, mostly dead ones that got blown up. There was actually one live tree in there that you guys would need to approve, but all the other ones were, uh, okay. were in good shape. So you can sort of see this, and there's the, there's the driveway. That was a, a live tree. This was the one that I thought was structurally unsound. It had a had a leader that was broken, and a lot of the branches were going right over the driveway. Oh, and he's also got a lot of the trees on this side. Um, is um, it, uh, the 
power line goes right through through this section here. So it was also concern of the trees that were tied up in the wires. So we've got some um, pines through here. These are the two right here. They've got you know live trees. So why? So that I mean that right there is he widening the driveway? No. No. So, I mean, like that one there, why does he need to remove it to put the driveway in? Um, <coughs> they're thinking basically the, the proximity to the, to, the, to the driveway. And if it, if it did, I think the, uh, the concern with the amount of roots, because you've got, it is leaning over, so you would think you've got, um, your, your root structure would, would match the canopy, <coughs> and the canopy is hanging over the, over the driveway. So they have to excavate some of that gravel material out. Yeah, and they will be doing. Yeah, years. they will be digging up some. They will be digging up some of it to put a, a sub base down. <clears throat> and then, uh, and well, then that should be like six or eight inches, I would think, right? I mean, we could we could, we could ask them for for the Maybe for more of the details. And you've also got the wires coming through this right. section too. So I guess I'm just wondering why you can't prune it rather than taking the entire tree out. Right. You know, because it's it was right. Yes, yeah, the driveway. And there are some. I mean, that looks like it's you know six or eight feet away from the edge of the driveway. Right. Uh, it it's like a little tighter than that. I wouldn't call it six feet. And it, it sounded like a big concern of his was that if that falls over, the roots are ripping up his driveway. Right. That's what I. Yep. Yeah. Because you've got uh, some of the pictures I took that was were making them concerned. Where, I mean, you get. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. You know, I get it. Yeah. yeah. go down this one was just a, this one was this is funky just some, some sort of old gray structure in the, in the I think it could be wrong out of it but a lot if you can notice a lot of the roots were going <coughs> sideways it was growing on top of it so we just thought it was a lot you know they, they thought it was a lot of weight that might rock off this whatever it is and there's another one further down so <coughs> yeah. that's so that why uh, that one was a concern and these were a little tighter, but you can see some of them, they're not marked, so it's, it's it, you know, it wasn't clear cut in there, but I mean, it, was, it was more, mostly the pines, it looks like. He's got a mix, yeah, I, I did take notes on every single one. So, I mean, it's sort of reasonable to you, Don? When you, when you start with it. I, I can understand his rationale, because everything was, especially when you go out to the, uh, the end of the driveway, and, uh, Basically, all the trees along here were even marked by Eversource. Uh, there were lots of lines. Yeah, because the, the lines coming in here. So he, he had concerns with the lines coming down and the expense of putting the driveway in and having, having a tree fall over. Yeah. Yeah, so. Jeff, yeah. does, does he need to get a driveway department and have a fire department, fire chief, fire department um, work at this? Well, it's existing. No, I know it is. And, uh, I think I think if he was constructing new, he'd be subject to the to the regs now. Right, but he would so still now. have to go to the building department to get the uh, uh, <clears throat> well because it already exists. Um, but if, but if maybe the, pa the maybe the pavement at the right of way might have to go through DPW. Well, I was just looking at that. If it was if the fire department did review it, it seems like those trees are in the way of what they want for. If he widens that's it, right. he'd have to he'd have to file with you guys for a permit application. Yeah, I know, I know, but he wants yeah. to keep So that's the what I was way. asking. Like, oh, is this going wider, or are you he maintaining the, the existing? And he said he was he, he had plans just to you know make it the same width. So he, he didn't want to because it's it's even more expensive, more blacktop. He's, he's, yeah, he's concerned how expensive it is now. Oh yeah, that's you know? probably five hundred grand this time. It's a lot of money. So okay, I'm fine with it. Uh, Anyone else? Okay, I'll pull over. Okay, I think we're good, Don. All right. Okay, Legacy Farms, East read? Main Street, right away. This is a notice of intent to construct a sidewalk. Yes. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. McDowell. Just going to read this before we get started. The Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, April 30th, 2019, at 7:30 at the Hopkinton Senior Center. 
28 Mayhew Street to hear all persons interested in a notice of intent filed by Legacy Farms LLC to install a sidewalk with associated site work. The location is a portion of East Main Street, the right of way between 51 and 76 East Main. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hey. Hey. Well, we are um, here before you. We filed a notice of intent as part of the, uh, the legacy project. Uh, there was a mitigation that the town had requested that a sidewalk get connected up by uh, Western Nurseries heading down East Main Street to where I think we had already uh, extended the sidewalk. So so we are before you to put that final connection point in. It's about 1,500 linear feet of, um, of walk. The sidewalk, we've had meetings with um, with DPW. The sidewalk will essentially start where you have the, um, the white line on the right-hand side, the fog line. We want the walk to start two feet off of that uh, and then carry over four feet. We want it to minimize the width as much as um, possible to get to tight a couple of areas. So it'll be a four foot walk. We should we should say the rest of the walk rate that we put in all the way to the downtown is five feet wide. Mm -hmm. But when we went to the planning board and explained to them their sensitivity relative to this one section, they're making the sidewalk four feet wide. So okay. It's a foot less to accommodate that bump up. Okay, good, thank you. Yeah. Um and but beyond that it's a pretty pretty straightforward um, process again about 1500 linear feet connecting from, from side to side uh, the sections where there's, uh, where there's guide rail that will be picked up and relocated to the back side of the walk it'd be about three inches or so off the, of the back of the walk to keep everything as tight yeah, as um, tight as possible there's a couple of culverts that go underneath the um, the, the roadway today uh, in those areas uh, we have from a low point we're going to drop a catch basin on the road side to a drop house manhole into the um, into the pipe that's already there in the water instead of flowing out over the side and now going to the deep sump catch basin and flows in the uh, I, I should also mention we met with uh, Matt yesterday on, on site mm -hmm. from Lucas and we explained the whole thing we showed it to him there was one spot where there's a, there's a culprit pipe that goes under the road and there's a head wall. Now when we move this guardrail back, there's one spot where the head wall is where you can't drive a post in. So we explained to Matt, if I could just give us the chair, we can distribute that. Sure. Um, this shows a detail where when the guardrail goes by where the head wall is, um, we propose putting in a reinforced concrete pad it's probably about uh, two feet wide, probably eight well, inches that's thick. There's reinforcing steel in it to secure. And then the post that goes over the head wall would in fact have a plan bolted to the bottom and then bolted and secured into the concrete. Okay. So there's no filling. Again, our goal is to fill nothing. So we told him we'd give you a copy of this detail. Yeah, me. I think that looks like a good solution. That's the, right. that location right there by the uh, catch yep. basin. One thing that, that Don had um, brought up early on is that there's an, a, there's an existing approval of the wetland boundary out there from a previous filing. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the wetland flag that was used for this application is like, slightly different. Uh, Don, were you able to put together some sort of a So we'd ask just to, if they could just show something that showed sort yeah, of both sure. lines, just so you guys could see if there was any significant difference. Um, there was one thing that I noted that I hadn't noticed before we went out in the field was that um, I thought there was a flag right at that head wall between flag seven and eight, but there doesn't seem to be one shown on the plan. But I didn't know. Yeah, I can, I can kind of show you the line here. So the um, the, the red was what we overlaid from the um, uh, filing for the, the, the town project. 
Um, in the dark, you can see it's right uh, right below where we have it. The area in question, um, it's, it's close. It's, it's a couple areas you go in and go out. Uh, but right through here, the, the bigger area of deviation is up in here where we're not doing any, any work. Um, here, we were actually more this way, uh, and they were down that way. Um, but again, we're not touching any of that area. In here, it's relatively consistent within, I don't know, a foot, maybe two feet, one way or the other. Um, regardless, even if that line was in, it's still, we're just kind of going up to that head wall that's there. Mm -hmm. um, we should still be consistent there. Okay. I just did the best job I could overlaying it. Okay, thank you for doing that. Yeah, so, so I think um, where there's already a, that existing approved boundary, I think maybe just for this, where you just sort of say that you're not approving wetland boundary, that you're approving the project, just so that there isn't theoretically two different lines out there that yeah. might cause confusion in the future. I think that makes sense. We'll make a <coughs> note of that, Don. Yeah, because you got. An area here too that isn't depicted. And if you can see it on this screen, on the previous filing, uh, Jeanette, there was a connection. It's, it's not subject to, to the, the work in, in, in here. It's just when you're looking at, at the plans, because this plan was for when the, the town went through the, the bridge crossing. Right. Yeah. So then they came back. Now we want to access the property. Yeah. They might reference this and say, well, there's no weapons in the air. You know what I mean? So, you want to demonstrate. Exactly. So, it would just be nice. You know. I can bring that on the screen. Yeah, no, that's the. I was just going to say there's an article on, on the town meeting warrant uh, about uh, design money for the crossing of that. Is that? I think, I think what's on the warrant is the changing the zoning, because currently the zoning calls for that to be an athletic field. And they're also yeah. adding the fact that it could be a cultural center, which would be the Marathon Center. Actually, what I was thinking is it's actually um, CPA monies. Okay. CPC, had, that's one yeah. of the recommendations. Okay. So it's to design access and the wetlands crossing. Is that, does this impact that in any no. way? No, no. Thanks. Two separate issues. Okay, and then another comment from Lucas was just on the stormwater report. Uh, Matt, so are you suggesting like a weekly report during construction? Well, no, I, I guess it was a, it was a question more. Uh, again, the the drainage design is pretty simple. Just adding three catch basins. It yeah. appears to be an improvement. Um, yeah. I know on previous sidewalk designs that you had put it out for peer review by engineer. So it was really just a matter of whether you guys felt that was warranted or because it's really not. There's no calculations or yeah, there's details on the plans, but not much beyond. What do you think, Carrie? I don't think we need a peer review for this. I think it was a more appropriate situation. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's going to be pitched back into the, the catch basin, so the sidewalk drainage will go through the catch basins as opposed to the opposite. Okay, I think I'm good with this. Questions or comments from the commission? All right, if I can get a motion to close and approve the notice of intent with our standing con conditions as discussed. In the second? Oh, yeah. The chair. Yes. They haven't got a DP file number signed, so it would be subject to proceed of a DP issue on that. Yeah, yeah, correct. I'll second the chair. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? Okay. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. So why we have you here, Mr. McDowell? Uh, just on another issue, real quick. We met with. Um, Holte, a couple weeks ago, there was some, uh, uh, there was a couple situations on Legacy Farm South where the homeowners were putting gardens and structures in the buffer zone, and one of the home homeowners came before us because it was flagged during the COC process and said, well, you know, when I talked to the homeowners association and uh, two other folks involved with the project, they told us it was okay to, to do this work. You know, he was showing us emails that he sent, so it's incredible to me. Well, here's the thing. I had a meeting, with, sorry, we have a annual meeting with the LOA, which is the Landowner Association. Yeah. The Landowner Association is anything to do with Legacy Farms Road or the 500 acres of dedicated open space. Anything that's in the development of the homes is an HOA, which is a home.
Small Boat Association. Okay. Having frankly nothing to do with us. That's dealt with with Pulte and um, Dartmouth Group, which handles that for them. Okay. And uh, that's what we had Dartmouth last night at the meeting. Dartmouth also handles the LOA both well, because we also do the sewer and all the rest of that. So if, if it's anywhere near where the homes are, mm -hmm. that really comes down to the HOA. Okay. And have you spoken to Pulte about that? We have, and we asked them to come back to us with a mitigation plan, so we haven't heard back from them. So the question was if they had spoken to you about this or else. I don't about it, but okay. if you like, what I can do is I can have the Dartmouth group contact Don and have them communicate with you, because I think they're a good conduit to. Right, uh, Mike and Mark set up this uh, appointment to meet with me on Thursday, and then they want to come back before the commission at the next Okay. Week, you know, so is that you guys would looking for them to get together and, and work on something right, yeah. they have okay and uh, right. hopefully they'll be on the yeah. agenda for the next meeting okay perfect <coughs> and, uh, i will reach out to down uh, there's a uh, mark Mark. carrie i think um, uh, i've got to contact uh, carrie um, from, from the Dartmouth group oh the Dartmouth. Okay. yeah so i will uh, reach out to her as well yeah, I like you. so there's, there's a number of people Okay, great. So Thank you very light, much. light at the end of the tunnel here. Yeah. Right. This is the last piece of the sign All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck with it. I have, I have a question kind of related. Not really needs to be here. But procedurally wise, because we were talking about the as builds and how the timeliness of them. Yeah, did you, you know, see being submitted. Do you see it in the minutes? Um <laughs> did I see that mentioned? I, I I'm sorry. No, so my, I was just going to ask a general question of, um, is that something the as-builts, the as-builts need to be in place before they get an occupancy permit? No. Is that a, is that a? No. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think they do. You mean a foundation as-built? You're talking the foundation as The foundation as-built with the building department is different than the as-built you guys would get at the end of the project. Correct. Mm -hmm. Usually it's just like a plot plan. It just shows property bounds. Foundation is this far from oh, the property line. Does it show the grading? Usually, it doesn't show the wetlands, stuff like that. So, we have a condition where it says, "Give us a copy of the building department, so then we can sort of eyeball it to see if it's in the right place." Um, and I mean, a while back, we had an issue with one that wasn't in the right, or it was a different mm -hmm. It was a different configuration. So that's what brought that that to light. So, um, I guess I'm just wondering if that would. Um, I guess if that would uh, increase the chance, or that would. Resolve, resolve some, some issues. issues if the as built was required before the occupancy permit, so that that was like a check to the building that's inspector that, yep, we got our. But that's part of. But a lot of a lot of times it, it, it falls into, okay, um, they they started in, in the fall and they got the house all set, mm -hmm. people ready to move in, but the winter set in and they didn't get the lawn in, you know, and mm -hmm. they still got a, uh, an order of conditions. Where they're like, well, we're not ready to apply for a certificate of compliance because we got to wait till next spring. But we got all we got all gotcha. the other building, you know. So they want to move in with snow on the ground, mm -hmm. you know. So that's why Chuck will say, I'm not going to hold this up until you guys yeah. are waiting for the lawn to come in. You know, I'm going to let them move in. You know, and he and he's only looking at his building codes. Yep, mm -hmm. this house is built safe. You know, so right. it, you know, so that's sometimes it doesn't coincide but I know we had an issue when, with, with this one where it was like okay they, um, I wrote it says within 30 days completion of the project and it seemed like there was a there was a gap you guys were concerned with when the um, it's worded in the minutes how it, how it basically says they um, they got a certificate of occupancy but then they didn't go to put the PIB in until like after they were a long going, time later they so, went to, sell so to the point where the where the applicant had moved in and put all those structures mm -hmm. inside, then they came to put the PID in, and it was like, right, shouldn't yeah. you apply for the certificate of compliance? You know, kind of at the same time you were given the certificate of occupancy. Right. You know, that was the that was the lag. That was the that was the that was the problem. And they were in that time frame where the, the permit extension act gave them four extra years. So they were like, okay, well we got four years to put yeah. in our. So logistically, you can't really do it that way. Right. You know, request the as built before you get the 
right. We, occupancy. We asked, we asked for a copy right. of the foundation plan so we yeah. at least know, well, before you start framing, you know, did the, did the foundation go in the right place? You know? yeah. Could you, though, maybe to help with at least the PIB part of it, is say, you know, there's a special condition that talks about installation of PIB. What if you put timing on it that says the PIB must be installed, at least, yeah. you know, prior to framing or, or at, the, at the time that the foundation as built is submitted or something like that. Right. Is it so that at least that's you, put in early, mm -hmm. which should help in certain circumstances of somebody, you know, so somebody's going to look at the, like they're probably not going to go look at it until at least it's a foundation, right? Mm -hmm. But if they go look at the foundation and say, well, what are these markers up here? Then maybe that might yeah. help deter people yeah. a little bit to say, oh, this lot is as big as, as I thought it was. It would be good that you could do it after to, the rough grading is completed. Yeah, because you used right. to have it. Yeah, as soon as whatever do it. point makes sense. Because yeah. you guys used to say, right after you have it, you know, when you were putting the erosion controls in, put in the PIB, like right behind right. it, and some of them got damaged. You know, so you guys were like, all right, let's take that out. Well, know? that's not always the same location, right? We got no. erosion control. No, that's not but PIB. most of the time it is. Most of the time it's at the limit of work. You know, unless it's, you know, one of those ones that's pre existing and you're, you know, uh, yeah. It was a kind of special. Well, that's a good idea. Once the erosion control goes up, the PIB goes up. Well, that's how or it used to have it. And then when some got damaged, you guys said, all right, we'll take that out. Yeah, because sometimes people like the PIB is a fence. Like, right. you don't have the fence in. If yeah, exactly. It was, I think, a couple of fences got Oh, damaged. so I get the right wood fence. So, so I'm yeah. thinking... I'm thinking medallions oh, and, yeah. and boulders. But yeah. still, I mean, those things, the PIB can be in place before... Yeah, the gross season right. or whatever I mean that's something that right. doesn't need now, to be held up for that reason so. and, that, and it was also that that was kind of kind of unique situation because it was one of those ones where you guys gave them a limit of work uh, a temporary disturbance to put in the drain lines and so the, the limit of work was here and the PIB was out here so this area was disturbed so when, when they went to put in the uh, all those items the fences and stuff it was going in the disturbed area but it was supposed to and the PIB never went in. So they were just like, oh, this is the, you know, they were the hay bales, you know, oh, okay, we're all set. And it's like, no, that, that area was supposed to, you know, get, once once all the work was done, it was supposed to go wild. And then the PIB was here, and now it's the landscape. So it was kind of a, a bunch of little factors that made the communication break down. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I guess I just think moving forward, it might be something to consider a, a condition adding to our special conditions. Right, Something when like the PIB, yeah, so more of a timing thing. Specific yeah. to the PIB for timing, whether sure. it's whether it's with the you foundation should, plan I would think might not make sense. Like you said, I think probably, prior to if you said speed. like before a certificate of office fee is issued, you know, mm -hmm. that, yeah, that, might be, that might be, that might be, you know, you're not pushing them right up to the beginning of construction, but you're yeah. still giving them, by, you get, by the time you're getting people into the house, you should be well, well along. Right. right, and I think yeah. it's only fair to the people buying the house <coughs> yeah. to be right. aware right. of that, and I think that's the only way. I'll write up a draft, you and I'll send that around for you guys to look and see if you like the language. That sounds good, Doc. Okay. I mean, it should be part of the disclosures when somebody's buying a piece of property, but apparently but a lot of Well, the order gets recorded before they put a shovel on the ground. I know, but, but apparently it, realtors That's what's supposed to take care of that, so when you do your title yes. search, you know, you're shocked. Yeah, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right, so the 850, let's just open there. that, Don, and close it. Oh, Continue. yeah. Continue. Yep, yep. Thank you. Hopland and Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, April 30th, 2019, at 7 30 at the Hopkins and Senior Center, 28 Mayhew Street, to hear all persons interested in notice of intent filed by Wall Street Development to remove a drainage culvert regrade the right of way and install a berm with associated site work. The location is 0 Leonard Street. Assessors map U19, block 52, lot 0. And a portion of Leonard Street right of way. We'll continue that out to May 14th. Okay. I see Mr. Connors in the morning. Yeah, so Mr. Connors? I think he might be interested in number 3 on the work session item. This is uh, 11 South Mill Street, a project change request. Number seven, George Connors, 
one two copies. That would be great. Thank you. There was a plan which was here. I proposed a specific house. I copied that one to this flimsy. Show you how that is different than original. Separate system. So right you can see that the house, the ground underneath, is slightly smaller than the proposed one over here. There's a tabulation that shows that there's a little bit less impervious area on the whole uh, site. Some grading along. Less impervious or less? Less impervious. So the house is smaller. The house is smaller, yeah. That's gone. This front area is gone. Okay. And a little bit of that garage. The driveway is also going to be a little bit smaller. You can see it over here where it has a resident on the inside. Overall, there's a net reduction of the service by a few hundred square feet. I'm going to move this out of here now. This is an area that was closed out of the water. I'm good with it. Any questions or comments? The commission? Yeah. And can I get a motion to approve the project change request as discussed? Sure. And a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Two. Aye. Aye. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mr. Connor. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I still have one. 
That's what I wanted to oh. show you. So that would drive, oh, is okay. this road right here? Okay. Parkwood Drive, you guys did, was, was this one right here. So this was Perry's property. Yeah, and it, it, uh, I think it's combined Mr. Perry and uh, the folks here because this is the, the new addition. So uh, and basically the sketch plan showed you that they just want to go from Elm Street right down to uh, there. And basically we've got, um, it looks like, it look, they look like drainage channels right now, but they basically connect um, these two wetlands through here. So yeah. basically it's an intimate stream channel. That's the one that cleaned out all the <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. This is where we had all those problems. Yeah. And then they ended up, so they've got um, um, stream channels that continue through. So basically, that's why it's uh, jurisdiction. So, so basically, yeah, we just wrote up a, a letter. We took all the standard conditions from like a paving job. And we just, I can even show you. those, yeah, basically, it'll, it'll look a lot like. Oh, yeah, basically, it'll look just like that. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, and then 6 Downey Place, Corey? Yes. Break that one out. That was a single tree growing out of the lawn. Um, gave me a sketch. Yep, so there's the house. The tree is right there. Grabbed a couple of shots. So this is the uh, this is the roof. It's got branches coming over it, and it's got power lines coming through. Uh, there it is, right there. It's also leaning over to its uh, the neighbors. Yeah. So that's where you see the branches coming over here. April 9th, Don, you sent those out? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know if I saw <laughs> When did I do? Friday? Friday. Friday. Later on Friday. Friday. Was Sorry. it on Friday? Okay. Yeah. I don't think I saw You started the weekend and didn't didn't look didn't look back. That's okay. That's yeah. why it's on the CA report. We can we can table it. Um, is that okay? Oh yeah, yeah, no worries. <laughs> but um there was actually something that was um in, in there um that um I wanted to bring about, but if we can jump, I'll just, um, um, I guess we probably should have done this before, but um, <laughs> this kind of came in late. Um, number six, um, um, Matt um, submitted another uh, disclosure because they, um, they also work with um, Bowler, and they like to let you know when they're, um, when they're right. Yeah, when an applicant comes in and uses Bowler, that they, they re reiterate that they don't do anything to Bowler and Hopper. Right, yeah, so it's different projects. We've had, a, so we've had a few of those. So I just thank you for letting us you. know on that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also we've got, um, we submitted the, well, the, the applicant for um, uh, 42 West Elm, um, submitted the draft the, uh, CR to, um, to the state, DCS. They've already looked at it and they, um, they uh, provided comments. I'll email those out to you guys, okay. hopefully when I get back to the uh, office. That was quick, huh? That was, I was shocked. How fast that, that was, was running. Like, they must have more staff there now or something because before it would land, you know, I think once it like submitted. A month or two months. Uh, I, I was thinking, I, I think when we did the CF for Elmwood, I thought it, like, we didn't hear for like six months. Yeah, you know, so I think you're right. I was actually. like, whoa, you know, so that was great. And um, we had, um, I wanted to um, just run by the, the, the minutes we had back in uh, the, the uh, uh, butter for. Um, Mr. Mezzet? Yeah, Mr. Mezzet. Yes. So yeah, I saw the email. We had um, a discussion back on the 26th for that um, 10 Linden Street, where, um, if you remember in the fall, 
there was some site clearing for mm -hmm. access to, to come in and do the soil testing for this NOI. So um, the commission basically had a discussion about, you know, the area that was cleared and the area of the proposed driveway. And I thought what you guys said was, okay, figure out where the limit of work is now for the, for the project. And if there was any clearing that went beyond that, just capture that on the on the plan, you know, give us a revised plan, and then then you can, th plan. those are the areas, goes, I wouldn't have a problem planting in that area. And then we didn't have a meeting again until April 9th. So, and I guess I didn't see in the plans that, that were revised on the 9th were depicted, and, if, and, and I remember, like, this would have been the last meeting. Do you guys remember them saying, oh, you know, all the clearing we did was was up to the limit of work, so it's all depicted. I, I don't know if we picked up this no. this thread of the conversation <clears throat> again. Anna yeah. didn't remember it. I, I, I couldn't remember, remember it. it. I don't remember. So I reached out. I reached out to the um, applicant's consultant. I'm not going to go. Was this addressed? Did you guys did you guys address this? Because I, I think the commission asked for that at, on the 26th, saying, "Hey, you know, if it, if it does extend, just show it." So I reached out to him, but I haven't heard back from him yet. So if, if that is the case, if there's an area beyond that we didn't capture, I figured we could just do it as a project change, saying, oh yeah, by the way, these areas, you, you know, you just gotta put in some plantings, because he's, he's already said he was amenable to it. Right, yeah. You know, yeah. instead of the- That instead, I recall, from saying that he would be amenable to doing We that. had that, yeah, he noted he would mitigate the cleared area north of the proposed limit of work for the okay. driveway. Okay. But then we were like, well, you how, just much, how much area is it, you right. know? Yeah. And it, why don't you show it on the plan, give us a revised plan. I think that was one of the boxes. Matt had asked for the 50 foot. Uh, then you guys asked for the um, uh, uh, BMP improvements, which they did a rain garden. So there's a lot of moving parts in the revised plan. I, I just think we probably didn't pick up that thread. Right. You know, so. Um, so an old unless, you know, unless Mark and I said, oh, I've, Everything was to the limit of work. We didn't go beyond the limit of work. I don't remember that. Yeah, said. I don't remember that either. So I think we just didn't pick it up. I think it just sat. So hopefully, he, you know, he'll just give us a revised plan. We'll do it as a project change. And okay, that sounds good. Bed. Okay. Okay. So and we'll table those minutes of the 19th for, the, for your next meeting. Okay. Thank you. All right. So uh, we have a motion to adjourn. I have a quick question. Yes. Did you follow up on the photos I took of Legacy Farms North? Yeah, did you see that? I, I just, I sent you at least, there was a quick chatter between the two of you guys, yeah. who it was. I was just curious. Yeah, so. In fact, when you stopped Mr. Legacy Farms, that's what I thought you were going to raise. Yeah, because yeah, that's more culty than, than him. Anyway. Yeah. Has so, that been fixed? Yeah, fixed? so basically, um, going back, I mean, Jeff, had, I think you were the first one who brought my attention back in December, November, uh, November, December. So where they have, where they, Pulte has their stockpile. Um, they had issues where it basically just ran overland into the existing stormwater train and then went down to the, to the detention basin way down at the end. So we brought it to their attention and the commission reviewed it and goes, this isn't really jurisdictional. Even though there was a section that ran through a buffer zone, but it, you know, we didn't get close to the to the to the resource area, so thought it was more of a SWIP and under the planning board's uh, purview. So, but since we didn't we didn't have a principal planner at that time, we left in January. I was sort of keeping an eye on it, and um, they did. They made uh, they made great improvements with all the erosion controls, and they even put in a, a, a big uh, detention basin uh, to capture it with uh, with a raised pipe to even have uh, you know more effective of, um, of um, keeping keeping it uh, settled out. But then your pictures showed where you parked, there was a new section up, because everything was, was down gradient of, of that little driveway. So there was a new section and they had that that little blowout area. Yeah. So basically I, I passed that along to Beta, because they're the ones who were, who were basically planning boards, okay. you know, um, Matt, basically. Yeah. So I thought you were copied on that, Ted. No. 
I, re I remember the beginning where you said, oh, that yeah. looks blah, 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 I'll talk to so-and-so. And then, and then Don I, said, oh, I think yeah, it's so-and-so. I thought Don's response, I thought you were copying on I that. Thought so I thought I copied on you. It, oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, I'm not very smart. It may have been. <laughs> and so then I, I went out there and they actually were that. Um, sill fence was breached. Was breached. They, put, back, uh, yep. they put a rock, like, I think it's where it was. I didn't know exactly. But I'll drive by. They drive by it again, but they put, um, like, a stone... Um, Berman. Yeah, I mean, they yeah, put they were the they some serious work. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. They weren't messing around. Every time, every time we raised a point, they reacted, and I saw improvements every time. So, oh, good. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. So, It'd be nice if they got ahead of the reactor. <laughs> yeah, they I were hate proactive. It. I hate it. Right. I mean, you know, I haven't seen this in particular, but you got to look at it and tell it's going. Yeah, but oh, Ted, if you can take a ride out there and just look at sure what they did and show us where the area was. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. All right, okay. nothing else? Motion to adjourn. So move in a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed and go Bruins.